The more time I waste on people, the more money I make. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You keep saying comedy crashing. You see a crack and you see like a Who star. cares? I'm just asking. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Did you know the closings happen every day regardless of market conditions? Were you in the crowd? Well, yes, I was. But my whole thing is, I don't think it's going to happen. Did, you don't think it's going to happen? Slow down. <laughs> Not a crash. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a crash. It's inevitable. Down. Next year. Uh, slow down, right? Slow downs, crashes, recessions, depressions. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying next year we can have a slowdown yeah. and then a recession in seven years. Yeah, we can okay. have a recession and, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know when all that's gonna happen. It doesn't matter. That's the good thing about it. I know you wanna help us succeed because the failure rate is super high. We all know that getting a real estate license is super easy. Yeah. What is your two what are your two cents on education over experience? Because I'll tell you, you have this. To be balanced. You so have to find my the question balance. is when do you start prospecting and telling a buyer or seller that you are a professional when you just did a 40 hour one. course? Day one. Day one. Day negative one. Call your sphere before you get your license and say, hey, I'm getting into real estate. Do you have an agent you're going to use if you ever do anything? I'm not. I don't care if you buy or sell. I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. I'm just wondering if you have an agent. And if not, give me all your contact information. I'm going to stay in touch. Build your database before you even get your license. As soon as you get your license, start calling for sale by owners, expire, circle prospecting, posting everywhere. Like you start the process immediately, and then you learn as you go, mm -hmm. right? But a lot of people go to these seminars and never sell a house. They go to every seminar in the world and they never sell a single property. Don't be one of those people, okay? What we want to do is get the education that we need to get to a certain point. That's why I try to make my presentation very simple. We just talk to people, we have the best intentions, and we build a brand. That's it. It's not super complicated. Now, you guys never need to go to another seminar ever again in your life. Just go do what I said. See what I mean? And that's how I was. I went to a couple and I realized this early on. I never went to another seminar ever. I'm too busy trying to work. I'm too busy. I have to leave work where I'm trying to sell stuff to make money and I have deals going on to go to a seminar to learn stuff that I already know. Maybe you'll pick up something. I don't need anything else. I'm trying to close these deals and make more. Ooh. See what I'm saying? I'm at a stage when I feel like my production is not moving forward because I take all of my time with my past clients calling and You know talking. what the problem is? You're talking so long to those people, and then that's it. You're not. You're not saying, "Okay, I got an hour left in the day. I'm gonna pound out 50 calls." Right? Yeah. Yes. See what I'm saying? Like you're just think you're. You can't sit here and tell me that you know I can't grow, Ricky. And all I'm doing is talking to one or two clients a day. I mean, just the numbers don't add up, right? So what you need to do is. Control your business. Don't let it control you. So when someone wants to talk to you for a while, that's fine. Now you know they're a talker. A little talky too. Now what we're going to do is, is when we're supposed to make our calls the next day and we see their, their call coming in on the caller ID, delete, deny, and we'll call them back when we get through. We'll, so we'll start time blocking those 30 minute conversations of the talky twos. You see what I'm saying? Start controlling your business. Don't let your business control you. How many people do you call daily to get oh. 100 transactions? Mm. Well, see, I've made 100,000 calls to get here. Okay, cold calls. Yeah, exactly. And then after that, I really don't make cold calls anymore. So now, I'm so like busy, I'm like, so, I'm built such a monster mm -hmm. that I can't, I wish I could. And you know what will happen when the market crashes? I'll be cold calling the sheep because it'll slow down and it'll open up my time to make calls. See, see the market does this, deals do this, but your effort stays here. So, so you're, when the market's up here, we're busy closing deals. When it goes down here, we keep the same amount of effort going. We just, we just flip it to making calls. We're either calling to close deals or we're calling to find deals. But you, you, you go with the flow of the market. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And that creates that creates a situation where you have consistent business. How do you deal with like you know like you're cold calling it and then like the days that you have that people are just you know mean, say or ignorant to you. 
with that. And you have to get, you know, I know you, I mean, what do you do with your mindset with that? The thing is, is I don't care about the results. I just want to make the calls. I don't care if a hundred people hang up on me. Because I know tomorrow, five people are going to do a deal with it. Okay. I don't care about okay. the results. I just want to do the work. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. gotcha. Um, but I know where you're going with it. The thing is, you need to get a lot of sleep, drink a lot of water, shut your mind off at night so you're recharged every day so you don't have those down moments. But then, if you do have a bad call session, just chalk it up. If you're going to do it every day, one bad call session out of 30 is, is normal. You know, like, be really happy that you had a bad call session because we got that one out of the way. Now we're going to have a bunch of good ones, you know what I'm saying? I have a pretty good database, and I've lived in the same city my whole life, but I haven't talked to a lot of these people in, like, a decade. Okay. How do I call them to reconnect, even though we obviously were friends years ago, without it being like, I'm calling you just to catch up. I've been a bad friend, I've talked to you on Facebook. Oh yeah, by the way. Number one, there's a video on YouTube, just search Ricky Carruth Past Clients, and there's a really cool video on like scripting and stuff. There's also one that's called Sphere of Influence, Ricky Carruth. Okay, those are two really good videos for you because it goes deeper into scripts, talking to people we hadn't talked to in a while, not sounding salesy, not being scared that you worry about them, you know, them what they think about you not calling them in so long and all that stuff. Oh, none of that stuff matters. You are worried about something that doesn't exist. You hear me? You call them, you need you need to be confident in who you are, that's the problem. You're not confident in yourself. Am I right or wrong? You don't have to say with that. Like new, well, no, I mean I'll, I'll be honest, like with new clients, I am so much better with complete strangers than Just I think am. Think about with how incredible your friends. business could be if you could tap into those people that you know, know who you are right Do you have that bliss? You need to call them up and say, hey, how are you doing? They're gonna hear your name and say, oh my God, blast from the past, how you doing? Right. And then you're gonna say, I'm doing good, man. What's been going on? Y'all are gonna talk, y'all are gonna catch up. You know, hey, I've, I've just been busy. I got into real estate. Do you have an agent that you might use if you were to ever do anything? You know, and you just kind of ease into it. And if the real estate part never comes up, that's fine. Because they're our friend. We're gonna talk to them again in our life. See, that's another thing. Everybody's trying to get everything done on the very first call or the very first email or the very first, you know, post on Facebook. We're going to do this every day. So we don't have to do everything right then. We don't even have to talk about real estate the first conversation. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have to. Let's just reconnect for a second. You know what I mean? And then kind of ease into it at some point. What's your email? I'm gonna send it. What, you see what I'm saying? Every situation is different. But the main thing is, is don't be scared. Be confident in who you are that you're there to help people and that, you know what I mean? Stand behind that. If they are mad at you because you didn't call them in 10 years, then they have some serious issues. Hmm.